Hi, I'm Pavel Spichalski and first of all I would like to thank all my Patreon and YouTube supporters for their backing. If you are not one of them, please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. But now, almost every time we hear, read or participate in the discussion about the motors and ESC when anything is going wrong, there is a suggestion or advice or the general guideline to change the motor timing. And usually the, the, the idea, uh, advice, uh, when we have some kind of the problem with the motor is to increase the motor timing. And uh, we usually increase the motor timing and we are kind of happy with the result. But what exactly is this bloody motor timing? Because not only if you are trying to find any good information, uh, for example, on the BL Heli, you will find that, yeah, it's a motor timing, advance, do something and, and it's fine. Uh, in the BL Heli S and BL Heli the original BL Heli 16, or I forgot how this thing was even called. Uh, the motor timing was low, medium low, medium, medium high and high, and usually the motors on the 5 inch multi rotor drums were working better at least at medium high. Um, BL Heli 32 increased the resolution of the changing, and now we can set the motor timing in degrees. But why the motor timing is in degrees? After all, timing should be in seconds. So what's really up with the timing? Today, well, today I will explain exactly what is the motor timing and what you get when you increase the motor timing and what you get, because also from time to time, it is a good idea to lower the motor timing when you just do it. So let's change the camera angle and let's start drawing and showing you some motors I have prepared over here. This is the electric brushless motors. It has 12 coils and 14 magnets and 3 phases. If you want to know more about motors, I have a special video about this. We will not be talking about the motors and how they are working. We only will be talking about the motor timing. This 12 phases, 14 magnets actually can be simplified to something much simpler. To 3 coils like this, connected between three phases. Because internally, this is more or less how everything is, is connected. Because this coil is the same electric circuit as, for example, this coil and so on and so on and so on. They are terminated and as the result, they make something like this. Phase A, phase B, phase C connected into the winding termination called delta. Because it's a delta, it's a triangle, it's super nice. That's not all. We can simplify the motor even more, still keeping the principle, because it is possible, maybe not wise, but possible, to have the brushless electric motor, it will not be able to start by itself, but this is not important, motor that has only one coil, one electromagnet, like this, and here we have the, uh, the bearing for it, and the coil that, uh, that is working. So we have phase A, only phase A, and only one magnet that would be rotating around the same place. So this magnet will be going like that over the coil and then again. Of course, basic electricity, electromagnetic says that if the electricity is going through the wire around the core, it generates magnetic field that interacts with the magnetic field in the magnet. If the uh, they are opposite uh, poles, that means, for example, here we have S, uh, South Pole, and here we have North Pole, then they are um, going into each other, then they are attracted, they attract. If they are the same poles, then they are repelled. I'm not really sure if this is correct, but repelled from each other. So if we think about this like that, the motor has to know when to energize the coil, when the magnet is going around around it, at which point energize the coil. So the magnetic field over here will be interacting with the magnetic field of the 
of the magnet and just start pulling the magnet closer and closer to the coil and when of course the magnet will reach the closest possible position over the coil the coil should be de-energized uh, because we do not want to pull the magnet when it's on the opposite side because then we would be breaking so we don't we want to start energizing coil at certain distance between the magnet and the axis of the coil and then stop doing this and the distance between the position of the magnet and the axis of the coil and the phase is the motor timing and it's measured in degrees why because the motor timing is the angle between the axis of the coil uh, okay i have to move slightly forward it's the angle between the axis of the coil which goes down here and the axis between of the magnet the higher the angle the bigger the advance in which the coil will energize and start pulling the magnet closer to itself the lower the angle that means there is less distance between the coil and the magnet itself when it st they start in interacting on each other with their magnetic fields and this means that usually motor timing is kind of important mm, in general the higher the motor timing that means there is a bigger different distance between the head of the coil and the magnet itself and they are further separated away if we start energizing earlier at the higher distance the bigger timing more degrees of separation that means that the, we will have more time of the interaction of the magnetic fields of the coil with the magnets and as the result the total torque generated by the motor will be higher why because the forces will be acting on each other slightly longer there will be less times when there are no forces acting between those each other however we have to remember that the further away are separated two magnetic um, elements then the magnetic uh, field between them is weaker in general move something twice as far and the magnetic field will be four times weaker this means if we start energizing the magnet when it's further away energizing the coil when the magnet is further away we give more time for the forces to interact to coil interact with the magnet more torque however when it's still far away from the magnet we are wasting a lot of energy the efficiency of such a motor is lower than it would be when the timing would be lower and the coil would be energized when the magnet is closer to it however we gain something of a torque but the relationship is not very close to being linear we lose on the efficiency however when we're gonna do the energy put the electricity through the coil uh, when the magnet is closer the timing is slower from the default 17 we for example go into 12 there is much less torque because there is a shorter period of time when the forces can interact with each other however magnets are closer and the magnetic field is stronger that means from the same amount of amps put into the coil uh, we are getting slightly more force so less torque in overall because the period in which the, the interaction between the magnet and the coil is happening but the higher efficiency this is the theory at least um, in practice the default or increasing the timing by let's say six even to nine degrees um, it's fine it's still fine everything was fine on majority of the motors and the ESCs it will even give you slightly better performance on the slight cost of, of the efficiency of course so 
if you, for example, want to fly more efficient and you don't care about the torques and accelerations and flippity floppies around whatever you are flying around, then lower timing might be for you. If, however, you want to put as much power, as much torque from your motor, then the increasing the timing is a good idea because it gives you more of this of the cost of the motor efficiency. It will overheat, it will generate more heat, consume more energy, but also generate slightly more torques. If, however, you will lower the uh, timing, it will consume less energy, less generate less torque however it will be more efficient the less energy will be wasted the last uh, thing is how the hell motor and esc knows how close to the coil it is it's a good one it's a called back emf detection because when magnetic field is traveling near the uh, any coil the magnetic field generates electricity inside of the coil but because this magnet is moving it's already moving it's not that it's stationary and we only pick it up it's moving so it's generating electric field inside of the coil and the ESC can measure the voltage generated by the coil, coil and based on that guesstimate guess actually the position of the magnet comparing to the coil oh this is also very important and i think i forgot to mention that the timing is not in the degrees of the rotation of the motor it's different uh, it, 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 those are different degrees those are degrees of the phases because if i will remove this beautiful picture from here the three phase motors means that the electricity is more or less it's approximation it's a it's a it's approximation of this it goes up then it goes crosses zero goes zero and from this point to this point we are talking about 360 degrees one phase and the second phase of course it's the same only shifted by how many 120 degrees so the second phase would be shifted more or less like that and the third phase shifted even more but this, this is not important the motor timing is in the degrees of the phase so if this is the point in this point the motor magnet is in the closest position from the coil itself then 12 degrees or 17 degrees will be counted from the face of the motor over here that also means that um, it's not really the rotation of the of the motor but the distance in the in the in the phases uh, and the degrees of the phases that are over uh, over there and uh, to be honest if i we would there is an equation i, I forgot completely the equation but uh, this is something you have to remember it's not about the position of the motor itself it's position of comparing to the uh, phases and the magnetic fields uh, uh, inside uh, if for example we would have a motor with different number of coils and different number of magnets it's very possible especially super small or super bigger motors uh, are the example of that then the advance in the rotation of the motor would be completely different still the advance in the uh, phases still would be would be the same okay i think i overcomplicated this one uh, this last part but i hope you still more or less know what a motor timing is uh, if not then please write a comment with uh, your detailed questions i will try to answer them or maybe even shoot another video uh, okay so that's all for today thank you for watching bye bye